Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what a typical peaceful Sunday looks like in my life. Let's go ahead and hop into it. So this morning started off at Starbucks. I usually like to get breakfast from there and coffee before church. And this morning, me and Corey both got a caramel macchiato with some croissants. Then we headed off to the park to enjoy our breakfast. And we love taking strolls here either before or after church just to talk and catch up and enjoy each other's company. It's really nice and relaxing. We love the view. And then we head off to church after we enjoy our breakfast. So once I get home from church, I personally love working on all things ministry. So that could be filming a video, editing a video, or maybe editing a thumbnail. Today I am working on my logo for my new website. Yes, I'm going to be launching a website on July 1st and I am so excited to tell you guys more about it but basically it's going to be all about you how we can grow in god's word um, there's going to be free things that you can download and use that will help you grow in your faith and things like that i'm very very excited but right here i was just working on my logo this is something that took me a while to do and you won't see actually you will see it because it is my page banner on my youtube channel so i was gonna say you won't see it till the launch but you will <laughs> so i'm really excited you guys i am so excited to be able to help you guys out and give you guys more resources on how to grow your faith and how to grow closer to god through his word so be looking out for more about that soon By the way, just in case you guys were curious, I wanted to share what my pastor was talking about in church today. So, we were reading from 2 Thessalonians and we were learning a lot about getting prepared for the day that Jesus comes back. Um, you know, a lot of us Christians don't talk about the return of Jesus enough and don't talk about how we need to prepare ourselves and each other for that day and even if we never see that day in our lifetime we need to be prepared for our final day on earth we need to remember that the gospel is true that when Jesus sent his only son to die on the cross for me and you that he had planned for Jesus to return to take his children with him See, friends, I think it is so important now more than ever to spread the love of Christ, to spread the gospel, to make sure that there is as many people out there as possible that are saved. And that's that's just been my message, you guys. That's why I've been focusing so hard on ministry, because it's so important now more than ever to spread the word. So once I get done working on my ministry stuff, usually throughout this time I'm listening to music, I have some praise and worship on, and what I try to do is write out a list of goals for the week, things that I want to make sure to do. Um, I feel like it just sets my week off on the right foot, knowing exactly what I have planned, what my goals are, and I can look back and see what is done, see what is achieved, and it just kind of sets me off on the right foot. So. Usually, that's what I like to try to do. Hey guys, 
I just wanted to pop in here at the end of this video just to say thank you so so much for watching you guys I know I talk a lot about God and you know I'm a Christian that's mostly what all of my content is about I wanted to give you guys the opportunity at the end of this video to give your life to Christ. I know that for me, he's done some wonderful things in my life. He's gotten me through some very, very hard times. And he's always been with me. He's always here. And he's always given me so much peace and joy. And that's why I continue to spread his message. And I know that God can work wonders in your life if you just give your life to him. So if you want to pray this prayer with me, I know that giving your life to God isn't as simple as just praying this prayer but these are the stepping stones to success it always starts out with a prayer but then God if you allow him will work in your life and do some amazing things for you and he will give you peace and joy and he will always be there with you he will always be with you so if you guys want to pray this prayer with me if not I totally understand um but I just wanted to give this opportunity just in case you needed that this opportunity you needed someone to say hey give your life to god it will be worth it for you so here we go say this prayer with me heavenly father i'm praying for whoever is watching across the screen god i just pray for them i pray that they can give their heart to you lord and i ask Father, to forgive them of any sin that they have committed, God. Because we know that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So any sin that we come to you and we humbly ask forgiveness is forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus. God, that we ask that you come into this sweet friend's life. God, that you come into their life. That you fill them up with joy, with peace, with happiness, with comfort, with contentment, God. And that you make a home make a place in their heart forever and they can live with you forever in heaven god thank you so much for this sweet friend across the screen god and i just pray that you bless their life lord in jesus name i pray amen thank you so much sweet friend for praying this prayer with me and i know that god is going to move mountains in your life trust in him and he will always be with you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time stay beautiful Mwah. bye